let's just do let's do some cheerleaders. There we go. After suffering a stroke, Debbie Hall was left partially paralyzed on her left side. Through rehab, she regained some of her movement, but like many patients, plateaued after about three months. I didn't feel like it was doing much, so. That's when we were trying to look for other outlets. That search led Debbie to the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, where doctors are testing a novel approach to stroke therapy. Here, Debbie still does rehab, but first she sits quietly under this machine that uses a magnetic field to control her brain waves. That magnetic field penetrates painlessly down through your scalp into your brain, and that induces an electric current that then interacts with the electric circuits in your brain. Dr. Marcy Bachbrader is leading the study. She says after a stroke, the healthy side of the brain is much more active and can actually drown out messages from the injured side of the brain. But this machine could change that. This device is a way of targeting the overactive side, quieting it down enough so that through therapies, the, the stroked side can learn to express itself again. After using the machine for 20 minutes, Debbie undergoes rehab just like normal, but now her brain waves may be more balanced. Because it's a clinical trial, she's not sure if she's actually getting a dose or not, but as far as Debbie's concerned, simple things like opening the refrigerator and getting around in the kitchen are signs it's working. Move things from like low to high just to be, I couldn't, I didn't used to be able to raise my arm, so now I can. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.